Hey everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. I'm getting ready to start a repair on Robert's, uh, this is an XL12. And the, the reason that he sent it to me, uh, I'm not going to do a whole lot on this video. I want to keep that for the next one. But long and the short of it is it doesn't run right. Uh, it's, let me see if I can go through here. I need to set this up the right way. Uh, shop in Georgia tried to fix my blue XL12 bow saw but failed. It started stumbling directly after a gas fill by warm or while warm. Uh, they did a compression test, changed the carburetor and plug, changed the fill line, fuel line and stone. It still runs stumbling. Brought it back three times because it had no power to run. It idles fine, but stumbles when you squeeze the trigger. They say it is an old saw and it needs the carburetor adjusted constantly. No, that is a crock. I'm at a loss what to do. Mix, I mix 20 to 1 as I remember from the book. And we had an email exchange from there where I basically agreed. Uh, I'm going to ignore all the other stuff, but talk about does a vintage saw need to be retuned all the time? And the answer is no, provided that it's in good running condition. If you're finding yourself having to retune it all the time, there is something wrong. Uh, you shouldn't have to. Now, I haven't run new saws, you know, especially not the computer controlled ones. I'm assuming there is no adjustment on those. That's, that's the whole gimmick, that, you know, they should be good to go. But, any piece of two-stroke equipment with a fixed screw, depending on where you live, you may need to tune it for the seasons. And I'm going to give you a great example. My Super 2, I take great care of. I've uh, put on, oh, I know, hundreds of hours on that saw. At one point, I put new uh, crankshaft seals in it and did the full service, got it back to snuff. Up at the Firewood Hill last weekend, my buddy Mike, I hadn't run it since this previous spring. He was running it, and it warmed up, you know, but five minutes into cutting, uh, he, uh, you know, I was listening to it, because I always do. That's just a thing. I, I listen to the saws. And he'd pull the trigger to go to a cut, and it was a burp, burp. Okay. So... I got his attention, motioned him down. I mean, we're talking less an eighth of a turn on the, the low-speed screw. I had to richen it up. Now, why is that? Okay. So, we know vehicles, like, you know, uh, the whole point of a supercharger, a turbocharger, is to put more air into the engine. More air, denser, cooler air, makes an engine run better. Okay, so that saw was last run in late spring. Okay, we get warm around here by late spring. You know, we can have daytime highs well into the 90s. Okay, we were up there, it was 28 degrees. So, let's go with the magical extreme. About as low as we get around here is 20. About as hot as I'm going to be cutting in is 90. That's a 70 degree spread right there. So if I have it tuned for the day where it's 90, what have I got it tuned for? Thinner air, warmer weather, less fuel. Lean it out. Cold weather, denser, more oxygen content. Going into that engine, got to richen it up. Okay, so seasonal tuning, that's a thing. Now, if you're a casual user, you're not going to notice that. If you're somebody who, you know, works on these all the time, or you, you do some performance stuff, you kind of have an ear for it, you're going to notice it. And your saw shouldn't stumble. When you pull the trigger, it should be a smooth acceleration. And if it isn't, there's a reason. If you tune it, it's great, take it out and use it, and it changes, there's something else wrong. Look at your crankshaft seals, look for a bad fuel hose, could be a plug carburetor screen, any number of things could be going on. It may not even be fuel. You could have a condenser if it's an old saw. Condenser going bad. Points could be getting burned. Lots of reasons, but if you have an old saw, 
like a 1972 XL12, and the shop tells you, nah, that's just the way it's supposed to run. You got to retune them all the time. It's BS. It just means they don't know what to do with it, and that's why so many of them end up here. So anyway, I'm going to get to work.